When most people think of Rwanda, they recall the tragic genocide of 1994, and they often stop there. The genocide should never be forgotten, and we must always be looking to how we can foster greater justice and compassion and working towards reconciliation in our world so that such tragedies can be avoided. Nonetheless, Rwanda has spent the past 14 years journeying from genocide to become a nation of reconciliation and one deeply committed to eradicating poverty in all its forms. The whole idea of this village is, you know, to show that even if genocide happened, happened in Rwanda, there is a possibility, you know, for people to live again together. One side, the genocide perpetrator accepted to, con to, to confess their, their crime, you know, they committed it to others, and the genocide survivor also accepted to forgive. Our vision at Millennium Congregations is the end of extreme poverty by 2025, leading to a more just, compassionate, and peaceful world. It is a bold vision, but it's one that we share with millions around the world and with our partners in the Millennium Villages Project. This is a comprehensive and holistic approach to ending poverty and empowering sustainable development. Uh, after the genocide, so many organizations and uh, projects that worked with this community were relief in nature. And they were providing housing for the community, they were providing food, they were providing medicine, they were providing even clothes as people were being resettled. So when we came in, we, we said we wanted uh, uh, a community-led development and we wanted the community to become, to be very active and uh, to work together and to lead all these processes. In Mayanje, we have now five villages, which is about 25 thousand people and uh, it is so our cluster is uh, is made up of five villages which is also equivalent to Mayanji sector and the sector is um, an administrative unit in Rwanda that is just below the the district level and the the Millennium Villages project started as a way of trying to demonstrate that it is possible to, to achieve the Millennium Development Goals set out by the UN in the year 2000. People were still suffering from hunger diseases were on the increase and they were killing so many people. So the UN made a declaration and set up eight goals. 